when I come out of the, um, I was awarded the state, um, and when I come out of the foster system, I had got my GED while I was there at AB Tech, and then I just decided to think that I was ready to start a degree. Um, that was in 2000. I took two semesters and wasn't doing well, so I actually took a nine-year break in between um, coming back and um, did the testing with Doug Duvar and found out that human services was a perfect fit for me. So that's what I did and I loved it. <laughs> I, I was looking for jobs and every job that I wanted to do you had to have an associate's degree. And so that's when I finally broke down. I was like, it's, it's time to get that degree. Um, so that's what persuaded me to come back was just the jobs required it. I was older by that point. I had three kids, um, single mom. So it, it was really scary. Um, I think back to when I first started, had it not been for Misty and Jackie, I don't know that I could have done it because they were my support system also here to say, you know what, we understand, but you can do this regardless of every circumstance or situation, you can do this. And so that helped with having someone to that believed in me and to support me in that way. So I was scared, but having that support, it helped. They had daycare. They have a wonderful daycare that I, I still say I couldn't have done it without their daycare. They were great. Um, the school system has been wonderful in helping. Sometimes my kids ride three different buses a week, depending on whether they're coming home or daycare or grandma's. Um, and at first, I wasn't that great at scheduling the time for me to do homework and, and stuff. And But I eventually did learn that you know they were at school during the day and that's when I did work and to balance it so they would still have time with me when they come home you know it was just their time and you know even it was three or four hours in the evenings and then when they went to bed I did homework <laughs> they've always been very supportive of it um, they've never they weren't affected by it as I was. Um, there was times that I was upset. I missed my kids. I, you know, wanted to be with them. I'd stayed home this whole time with my children. So it was a big, huge adjustment for me more than them. Um, but they have supported me so much. And I asked them before I started my bachelor's degree, I said, do you care if I do this again? Because it's not only me, it's them. Um, and I explained to them, you know, it's night school, means mom won't be here two nights a week. Can I, do you guys mind if I do this? And they, of course, said no. Um, and then the best moment was when I got my degree in the mail about a week before Christmas. And my middle daughter, Monica, she's nine, and she was looking at it and she said, <laughs> she said, how do I get one of those? And so that was, for me, that was the greatest moment that, at nine, that she was seeing me do that. And it was that important to her, and she was just so excited, and she wants one of those. And now, and all through this whole time, the girls have seemed to do better. They've made A, B, honor roll, and then seeing that degree, I... I know that my girls are going on and they're not going to quit school and that they have seen that mom has fought and struggled and you know that they see that mom's had three kids and all this stuff has happened but she's still done it and it's an inspiration to them that when they look back even when they think that things are too hard that they'll keep trying. So for me, that was the greatest moment. Of, it made up for all the two years of fight and heartache and, you know, struggles. It made up for it when, when they see that and they want one of those. <laughs>